Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions with models. This is standard 5.3H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a shaded part of a model that's representing a fraction. And then we have another fraction that's subtracted from the first fraction. And we need an expression here. So it's simply an expression because it has no equal sign. If it had an equal sign, we'd call it an equation. We're not really looking for an answer. We're simply looking for an expression to model this subtraction. So it wouldn't hurt for us to look at an answer. So first, let's figure out what this fraction is. Remember, our fraction is going to have two different terms. There's a number on top called the numerator. There's a number on bottom called the denominator. So let's check the denominator first for our shaded portion here. The denominator is always going to be the total. So for the shaded portion, you see we've got one, two, three, four, five across. We've got one, two, three down. So if we look at that as an array, five times three, that's going to make 15. So we've got fifteenths here. Now for the shaded portion, the numerator is going to be, in, in this case, it's going to be the shaded. But in other cases, it might just be the number of items selected or the number circled. So how many shaded squares do we see? See, one, it's not really an array, so it's uneven. We're just going to have to count them one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so I see eleven fifteenths. And that is how much is shaded. Now we need to figure out how much did we get rid of. Because we subtracted some, we've got these x's, so that's pretty clear as to what they represent. And so we see we've got, I'm just going to put x's on them, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I took away 6 of the 15th. We're still looking at our same denominator. And if we wanted to, we could take a look at a, an answer. If we wanted to make this an equation, we wanted to say 6, 11 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths is how many is left? So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 11 minus 6 is 5. You notice when we subtract, the denominator is the same. And we don't subtract 15 minus 15 equals 0. That's why we don't take or add denominators. Uh, take them away or add them together when we are adding and subtracting because we still need that 15th to represent how many pieces there are total. So we had 11. We took away 6. We have 5. Here's the problem. I don't see that over there in our answers. And that's where it gets tricky. So I'll give you a hint. The problem is with this term right here. We need to view that term differently. It is going to be 11 fifteenths, so we are good with that. But how can we visualize our 6 fifteenths differently? And the clue is take a look at these x's. These x's are pretty large. Rather than 6 x's, they only give us 2 x's. So that's going to be our first clue. They only give us 2 x's. Now, we need a denominator. It's not going to be 2 fifteenths because we ended up doing 6 fifteenths. We'll take a look at what this represents. These are columns. So that's one column, two columns. So they took away two complete columns. Let me just shade them in so we can see them. I've got two columns completely X'd out. How many columns are left? I've got one column left, two columns left, three columns left. So they took two out of my five columns, and that five, that's going to be my denominator. Because we can visualize 6 fifteenths is equivalent to, or equal to, two fifths. Those are equivalent fractions. And 11 fifteenths minus two fifths is going to get us our answer right here of J.